In this video, we will see how to create a slicer panel for an app-like feel in the report. And then the information button shows the usage of the report. Like in this report on how we can clear filters, the usage of dark mode and the filter panel. As well as the current filter card, which shows what all filters are applied to this report. These three features are very easy to build with bookmarks. Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. To reduce a lot of space in the page, slicer panels are the best to include in your report. So let us get started. First, we need to create a layout to show the filter icon. Insert a rectangle shape and format it to the left side of the report. And format the shape and color accordingly. Once the formatting is done, add the filter icon and place it to the top left corner. Next, we need to enable the selection and the bookmarks options. The selection panel is very necessary for grouping and visibility of the visuals and layers. Now let us group the filter icon and the shape as slicer panel hidden. Now let us create the slicer panel, which needs to pop up when we click on the filter icon. Insert a shape and format it. Set the transparency and change the border for a better look. Once done, let us add a slicer header and format it. Create your slicers and insert below the slicer header and format them as needed. Now let's insert a back button beside the slicer header so that once we click on this button it should hide the slicer panel. Now let us group all the filters, the shape, the text and the icon into a single group and rename the group to slicer panel visible. Create two bookmarks, one for the slicer panel to pop up and another one for hiding it. The slicer panel visible group should be hidden for the slicer hidden bookmark and the slicer panel hidden group should be hidden for the slicer visible. Once they are hidden, the bookmarks have to be updated. Right click on the bookmark and update it. Now we need to add the action for the filter icon, that is the slicer visible bookmark. Then the same needs to be done for the back button, add a slicer hidden bookmark for it to hide when it's clicked. In this way, we can easily create a slicer panel using bookmarks. Next, we will see the information button which gives an idea to report users on the reporting functionality. Let us start by adding an icon. Let me add the buttons from the first page. Add a shape and change the shape to a speech bubble and then format it accordingly. Do the same to the other example.
We need to insert a shape on top of this and set the transparency and format the shape. Now group all these shapes, images and buttons into one group. So that we can easily hide a single group in the selection pane. Rename the groups and place them accordingly as shown here. Now let us add two bookmarks for hiding and displaying the information. Let's rename them to show info and hide info. Once that is done, let's update the bookmarks by hiding the visuals respectively. Add action to the information icon, select show info bookmark and to return from this information layout, I will add the hide info bookmark to the shape. So that once we click on the shape, it returns from the information state. Let us go to third example, which is to show all the filters applied in the report. I have already created a measure for this. We need to use the is filtered DAX function for this and use the concatenate X function to concatenate all the selected values. Let's create a card visual and add the measure which we created now. And then select the filter to test this. And here we can see all the filters selected in the report. In this way, we can add slicer panels, a help button and clear filters. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.